Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I was deploying a application using Ansible and Jenkins and I ran into a simple issue and I thought I'll make a video of it so it's helpful to whoever's trying to do that. Uh, basically I'm just deploying an application using Ansible. Um, there's a playbook that I run, there's a main.yaml file that I use which does a bunch of things. Uh, in the end it does this, it deploys the war file to a uh, to a certain path and then there's a um, variable, uh, sorry there's a hard-coded name of the application that is uh, in the playbook so if it is outside the playbook you could use said so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use said uh, in Groovy um, to replace that with a variable. So I've got the value that I need in a variable uh, and what I'll do is I'll replace that using said. So let me just show you what I did. This is a separate job. All it does is <clears throat> uh, so basically it's it's got a stage called testing variables. It could be anything you can make um, that's just a text, you can make it anything. So I'm just gonna go through this with you. So here I'm just clearing the uh, work, workspace, the Jenkins workspace, uh, and after that we're just, um, I'm doing this, but let's say there is a certain value uh, that is in a file that you want to read uh, using Jenkins. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just echoing this into uh, a file in the temporary directory called var underscore f underscore name dot txt. Um, declaring a Jenkins variable that'll read the file. Uh, if you don't use trim, you might error out because um, it tries to read the next line character in the end of the line. So you might want to use trim. Then I'm just checking out a git repository and in that git repository I've got uh, this file here, uh, the main YAML, which is our um, which is our file that I was just showing you just a moment ago, this one. And I'm just printing what's in this uh, what's in this variable, which is basically that one that we read. So bef before we replace we print that and then we do a said replacement of that text string um, with the value in this variable, the war name. And we're, we're doing an in-place replacement uh, with an expression, and this is the expression, and that's the file name. main.yaml is the file name. So I'm just going to save that and then just build now so we can look at the console output yeah that was a success so if I scroll down so as you can see it's replaced that with this value uh, what I could do is I could also print so guys I just paused the video and I added a a couple of extra line of code to print out the file after um, the set replacement is done and it did and then you can see that the string is now replaced with uh, the test one that I had that I copied into the variable in the very beginning um, so let me just go back so if we go back to the actual code so that's what I'm echoing into this file um, that's being used to uh, replace the text here with with the value stored in there. So uh, if you have any questions you can reach out to me um, via comments and uh, thank you for watching.